What do you do when it's nine at night and you're really hungry for something sweet? Ooh, nine at night. Yeah, yeah. Don't go opening the big M&Ms. Don't go there. Please don't go there. Don't go to the donuts. Don't go to the to the, the, the processed brownies. Come with me in my apartment, Starry's apartment, and we're going to be making something that's going to curve that sweet tooth. Oh, it's going to taste so good. Come on, let's go. Nine at night. I love it. This single life ain't so bad. Okay, I have most of my ingredients out, and it doesn't take a lot. Um, you know, we get scared when we hear vegan, right? We always get scared when we get vegan, but take a deep breath. Don't be scared, uh, because I'm going to walk you through this. You will need some dates for it. And what I do is I soak my dates, see, to soften them up. And then any type of nut, you can do walnuts. I've got my organic raw uh, almonds here. You can do Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts are really good because they're high in selenium and they help present, uh, prevent cancer. So good stuff. And then I always love to throw in a little chai seed in there. And oh look, I got some organic dark chocolate. Um, that's gonna be that's gonna be special and then I got some organic um, uh, coconut uh, chips just be creative oh and then a little uh, cocoa you need organic cocoa if you don't have organic cocoa don't don't panic you know I try to do everything um, organic but um, right now the only thing I have in here and it's not gonna it's not gonna ruin it don't worry you can use a little Hershey's cocoa you know it's night at night we're, we're winging it right we're, we're, we're winging it and then maybe as a sweetener you could go with maple syrup you can do, go with raw honey or you can actually go with some aguavi okay so just grab your ingredients so I usually do my nuts first I get them really crumbly. See, look at how nice they look. And then I will put in my dates or my raisins. And my six tablespoons of my cocoa. We're gonna blend it up and we're gonna see what it looks like. Okay, kinda think outside the box with this stuff. Now you can see it's crumbly, but what I want it to be, uh, you know, thick. I want it to be able to press into a pan. So I'm going to add a little water and maybe even a little salt just to give it a, 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 another layer of flavor. Oh, and besides the water, I'm going to throw in a little bit of vanilla extract. And you can do vanilla, you can do maybe a little almond, maybe a little chocolate flavor. I don't think you need extra chocolate, but we're going to do that. And then we're going to... Here's my Himalayan pink salt. That. Oh. See, look at how nice that looks. It looks perfect. Just that little bit of water in that vanilla. Now, at this time, I'll throw in my chai seed. Oh, chai seed's so good. It's an antioxidant. It's got protein in it. Helps regulate your blood sugar. It makes you feel uh, fuller faster. Uh, great for IBS and irritable bowel and GI problems. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. So I'm going to throw in a little chai. And then, you know, you can throw in a little flax seed if you want right now. Be creative. You know, it's the middle of the night. All right, there you go. Look at that. Oh, that looks beautiful. Now when you check it, you want a consistency, so when you push it together, it's going to stick. Look at that. that, that's perfect, that's perfect. Now, you can at this time add your organic, oh, your organic dark chocolate um, chips. And you know what? Uh, why not? You know what? This is like a nine o'clock treat. There you go, look at that, isn't that beautiful? And I'll just pulsate it again. Then this time, I'm just going to try it. Oh, it's good. Um, if you want, 
you can add a little maple syrup, a little guavy, but you know what? I got no sweetener in that. Oh, and it's perfect. It's perfect. You know, this is the thing. If you're diabetic and you have a sweet tooth, this is awesome. You got your chai seed in there. You got your nuts in there. You got a little of the cocoa powder. Ah, there's nothing there that's really going to raise your blood sugar. You're trying to lose weight. It's going to fill you up. You're a diabetic. It's going to regulate your blood sugar so you don't have a spike. You know, if you're on a diet, oh, this is going to curb your appetite and fulfill that chocolate craving at 9, 10 at night. And now you can eat without having any guilt tonight. Starry said so.